Goldstein or Goldstan, when I was listening to him rattle off the data this morning that somehow justifies what's happening here and his data is completely skewed, and I'm not a healthcare professional, so I'll leave the science to someone who is qualified to speak about that, but what I can speak about is seeing unrepresented data. And they are saying that this is a, a, a pandemic of the unvaccinated, but they're not testing the vaccinated anymore, so of course the numbers are going to be skewed. And we have 2,000 people in San Diego City, city workers alone, that don't want to do this. And I don't know what is more of a public health crisis than a public safety crisis. What's one is better than the other, I'm not sure. What I know is the way through this is massive displays of universal noncompliance. There is no way permission. We have to start saying no. We have to stand with our city workers. We have to stand with our brothers and sisters that are saying no. So, we need to turn that down. Bo, can you check that? So, I've got a couple of, uh, I got one really special uh, gift that I want to offer the community at the end of the speakers. My friend Brandon Turner is here. He's going to do a performance for us. But before we do that, uh, Jeff Weitzman, is the president of Health Freedom for Humanity. He's a filmmaker. He, we, San Diego is so lucky to have just gotten him. Here he is. Thank you, Melissa. How about a hand for Melissa Grace? Amazing, amazing woman. Thank you. People ask me every day, how are we going to win this battle? How are, we, how are we going to defeat these evildoers? The truth is, we've already won, right? They've already lost. And I'll tell you why we've already won this battle. Because there is a universal law, there's a law in the universe, a spiritual law, that, oh, by the way, our Constitution agrees with as well. And that law is that